Yes, and if he plays cushion first, and he can, he can play the, what, the stun off the cushion and leave the white where the pink is, this is what he's looking at now. But I agree with you, Neil. I'd have either pushed the pink up the table and try to get him behind the black. If this goes right, what he's trying to do here is screw into the cushion. So when he hits the pink, the white will stop dead. Now, as long as he gets a, f a fullish contact on the pink, we'll have the same scenario as before when he snookered him behind the black. It all depends how hard he hits this. But if, it, if he hit it hard, you've got to make sure you hit it full ball because half ball, both balls could end up in the same end half of the table. He hit it half ball as he fluked it. Oh, you can't believe what happened there. Well, what a shame the match had to end in that way. Mark Davis took really deep and got himself right back into the match. But an unbelievable flute from Ding Zhongwei takes him into the next round. And be learning this angle. It's very, very tight. It's close to the pocket. Oh, my word, it's gone in. Can you believe it? Words fail me. What a thing to happen. What a match, what a decider, what a sport. This because this is not easy to escape from. Yeah, and the only way that Mark Williams has got to go, it's hard to get a lot of distance between green and cue ball. This might be one who might not even look at the cue ball when he hits this. There you go. Oh. No, no, you're kidding me. You'd have to see it, Dennis. Don't look at what you're doing. Well, is this the winner of the World Championship oh. we're looking at here? He went for it, and he's overcut it hugely. Well, the chance for Tanner White, but it's a tough pot. to a frankly disgusted Robert Milkins. What a fluke and what a time to do it. He hit that black with some pace and so close was it to going in that it's hit the jaw, it's run...